Africa. Could actually bail out some of the countries that are not able to go forward. I believe that one African country being wealthy is not enough for the entire continent. We need all the 54 countries to be actually able to build on their wealth, build on their resources, and we need to end the conflict. We need to silence the guns. And we need to make sure that the exploitation of African countries by our colonizers needs to end. So we need to take certain decisions for Africa by Africans not being influenced by the West because we're still dependent on them on donors. Real independence will come when the Africa Union is fully funded by the African continent. Thank you. Yes, greetings everyone, kings and queens. Uh, there was a question on the issue of the spirit of pan-Africanism that many of our leaders, uh, they don't have the spirit of pan-Africanism. So today I brought these two pictures. Uh, I want to see the difference uh, between these two uh, pictures. Uh, the first picture here, this is the president of uh, Kenya, President William Ruto in the farm. And uh, this one, another uh, picture is uh, the president of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, also in the farm. It looks like now African leaders are starting to follow the footsteps of Captain Ibrahim Traoré. You know, when you talk about uh, patriotic leaders, you can mention Captain Ibrahim Traoré. Uh, what Captain Ibrahim Traoré is doing is amazing everyone. So you see now even uh, Kenyan President William Ruto uh, visiting farmers uh, to hear from them. But in this picture, there's no farmers here. Uh, it looks like uh, President Ruto is uh, in uh, the farm that crops are already matured so uh, prepared for harvesting it is the wheat farm and this is showing you that africans we can produce our own uh, food and also in the picture of captain ibrahim trial you see that he is uh, he, he has conversation with uh, this local farmer and it is good and that's why i'm sharing these uh, pictures for you to understand that what Captain Ibrahim Traoré did uh, is what other leaders are doing. But one thing that our leaders are not doing, like Captain Ibrahim Traoré, is uh, to take control of our resources. If all of us, and especially our leaders, can decide to take control of our resources, I think it will be better. And that is what we have been always addressing, that for Africa uh, to stop of being beggars, we need to take control of our natural resources. First of all, as you see here, we need to make sure that we feed ourselves so that those who are feeding us cannot control us. And then from there, we take control of our resources. From there, we will not become beggars. We can create jobs, we can create employment opportunities. Our young men and women will not run away from this continent to seek green pasture in other places. So I uh, have heard um, a little bit from uh, one of the members of the Pan-African Parliament from Namib Namibia. Uh, she's spoken very well and I would like to share what she said concerning about the issue of the spirit of Pan-Africanism. Welcome. Uh, Agenda 2063 cannot be achieved if all of us here and the future who will govern Africa during 20. 63 cannot understand Pan-Africanism. I believe that the revival of Pan-Africanism is very important even for us as an African continent to talk of uh, funding ourselves. If we don't have that spirit, we keep on banging, banging, banging to the others, although our continent is very rich. So the revival of Pan-Africanism, the spirit among ourselves who are present in the future, cannot also, we cannot also strengthen our three, our organs of the AU, our court, our legislative body, PAP, and to ensure that we ratify Malabo Protocol. And all of us, the member state, our head of state, must understand that need. 
Having said that, the decline of this pan-Africanism in Namibia, we have also noticed that. In particular, among the youth, they don't understand that. What? Some of them, not all, they are aiming just to get rich quick and to ensure that the whole country having a bread, not all of them understand. And the question arises that day, who will respect a poor person who is sitting on top of the rich underground? Africa as a continent is very, very rich, but its people is poor. Some countries, they manage to have those resources, mines, diamond, but because of a mismanagement, the poor become poor. And the outsiders, they are happy with this. We go and study where America, where, 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 but And finish. Another minute. <laughs> Another minute, you finish. I talk in my. Yeah. Our mind are not free. And henceforth, I would like to propose that, uh, as uh, His Excellency, um, uh, our chair, uh, um, uh, His Excellency Musa Faki, propose that uh, Pan African Parliament are key. We go back home and try in our respective parliament, in our respective government, to, to come up, to, cap, to put up structures, in particular aiming at the youth, so that they can understand where does AU come from. Even PAP. PAP uh, was brought up by those people who are no more, some of them are, no, are here, my president, uh, Semani Woma, is still alive. And they say the need that AU must have a, a, legis a legislative body. So those people, they understand and they have the spirit of Pan-Africanism. And I can quickly say that might be in the future, anyone who, is a, who will be a member from Pan-African Parliament must test that really he, is, he understands that spirit. Yeah, concerning the levy, as I stated that we are rich, uh, uh, Africa is rich, my, Africa is rich, maybe those levels must come up from our resources, our diamond, our, our oil also. They must uh, 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 pay levy, and the levy just go direct to AU to fund ourselves. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, uh, the President, Your Excellency. Uh, yes, welcome again. Uh, that is our mother from Namibia speaking about the issue of the spirit of Pan-Afghanism. You know, there's a question that we need to ask ourselves. Where our founding fathers uh, get the spirit of Pan-Afghanism? Uh, and we, the current generation, it, it looks like we have lost the spirit of Pan-Afghanism. We, the current generation, we are thieves. Uh, we loot from our resources. Then we take those resources outside of the continent. If it's money, we uh, store in the foreign banks in Asia, Europe, or America. So we, the current generation, we are not patriotic. And I don't know, maybe our education systems or the lives, and I don't understand what uh, happened to we, the people of Africa. If you look very keenly, you find that we are blaming uh, Europeans, Americans, uh, for sometimes exploiting our natural resources. But um, behind the scene, you find Africans who are trying to facilitate uh, these activities. Africans, we are, the, we are responsible to facilitate exploitation of our natural resources. And sometimes we have been hired by this uh, secret society to make sure that we destabilize our continent, we make sure that our co former colonizers are taking resources, while few officers in the government are benefiting. And that's why you find that we have government officials who have different homes in different capitals in this world. You find someone has home in London, in Paris, Washington, uh, uh, Brussels, uh, Dubai. So 
they have a lot of apartment and this these apartment uh, are coming from exploitation of our natural resources and sometimes the stabilization of our mother continent Africa so how can we Africa move from this issue of um, of, of, of losing the spirit of pan-Africanism. So Kings and Queens, I'm waiting to hear from you. Please share with me uh, your concern, your opinion, your uh, perspectives concerning how we can uh, create and induce the spirit of pan-Africanism to our people. Thank you.